There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. messes up that hair it could be the last haircut you ever get thank you we're live thank you kissel we're live yeah that is true no that's why each hair has to be specially curated yeah marcus is getting a haircut tomorrow but it's weird you're getting your haircut by a little italian dude mm. for some reason when it comes to massages i'll get a man to do it because i'm a big body i like a lady to the haircut i don't know why i feel i've never had, i have never had a man cut my hair i never. like a lady never. barber I like a, a lady I just, masseuse. Yeah. I like a lady dentist. I like a lady doctor. What do you I like shoulder? a lady. Like what? If, but what about his nuts on your shoulder? His nuts on my shoulder. Yeah, yeah like that happened. Yeah, like so you, him pulling out there. like his his big balls while he's cutting my hair and they're like, yeah, Tubin. excuse me for a second. Uh, uh, somebody's getting a haircut from Jeffrey Tubin. <laughs> oh, yes. This is my new <laughs> Oh, am I on? <laughs> It just, honestly, guys, welcome to Last Stream on the Left. We haven't introduced the show in any way, shape, or form. It's my mandate. You do it today. To honestly, what a great opportunity to finally just slide into the territory of late-night comedians everywhere and just say, ball at a tube, and he should have put his tube in his pants. I don't wow, know what Wow, the dancing Edos. Uh, right. Honestly, that would not even, that would be on the chopping that would be on the on the writer room floor, Mr. Zabrowski. That is no, not, it's, just not. Yeah. It's too busy, no, because late night is too busy going, Trump, huh? <laughs> brave. And then Real solemnly brave. staring into the camera for half an hour. What a great, mm. what a great state we are in as a country. Guys, Absolutely. it's my fucking mandate. Uh -huh. Um and uh as usual, this shit oh. is cherry. I love what? that shirt, Henry. Bobby Hill pinhead. You've heard, you've seen. I've worn this. I shirt. know, but I love it every time I see it. Yeah, this is great. Technically, it's it's like an illegal shirt. Why? Because <laughs> they didn't have the rights for this, and yeah. I don't remember the. Oh, company. it's Bobby. But it was great. Yeah, it's great. It's a good shirt. Um, oh, but, uh, razor. Oh, wow, that's good. Uh, someone's telling me to show my show my asshole in the chat, guys. Today, I want to start this <laughs> as I want to like a slow roll it. Because there's yeah. a lot of shit in my mandate that I, I don't know. I don't even know, you know, today. Because in the end, what was I trying to do? I'm trying to entertain us in these hard times. Hey, buddy. That's these all uncertain do. times that we're in. Because how do you cut through the noise? How do you cut through the noise, boys? Oh! Ah! I tell you, I cut through the noise with this very cute little video. Okay. Let's start. Okay. We have these ones. This one's. You know what I would do if I became rich? What? I would go get me a, a sports car. And I would <laughs> make it make sure it was a red sports car. And I'd take white paint and I'd paint a big white S right there on the hood. And then I would paint a white S on both the doors, driver's side and passenger side. And then I would paint a big white S on the trunk. And that way when the red, I'd go around and I'd find somebody in, in traffic that looked like they had a fast car right mm -hmm. and i pull up beside them at a red light and then i and when the light turned green i would just hit it and get yeah. right and take off yeah. and then you know what they say what? look at that s car go <laughs> that is cute wow i have never been more hook wine and sneaker a joke i had no idea that he was gonna say that slowly but surely because i don't know if you've eaten s cargo no i refuse to i don't like snails i i don't it's not good have you yeah, never tried I, it i don't know i just I love don't it. want the snail i don't you want like garlic it. anytime you have to cover up the flavor of the thing that you're eating it's because you shouldn't be eating you it. just don't understand it's <laughs> i don't because honestly it's good. you would the reason why you'd like s cargo is it's, it's like if papa john's garlic butter became uh, an animal yeah but it doesn't pop papa john's garlic butter doesn't go eat human feces off the ocean floor it's just what are these things eating down there you're just eating the, the no you're not the ocean it's the boogers of the ocean, these, the are, not like, of the ocean. these are not big old fucking there's not like big they're not eating those things the big slug like snails at the bottom That's of the ocean floor they they're no it's little <laughs> garden snails yeah 
They're because you, you, you got so they're you, in the little because they're in their little shells, and you got to get the fork. And you got to pry them out and pop it. You're in always like, one. Hoist. You're right, right here, man. Anarcho fittistic is here. Here, surprise, surprise. Ben's a snail racist. <laughs> wow, a snacist. Um, a snailist. Uh, but the problem is, you are one degree away from what your food eats. You see, I like eat it. Nothing but trash. I like, like food. Raccoons. Why don't we eat raccoons? There's a lot of meat on their bones. You people do eat, eat raccoons. They're trash. They people do trash eat pandas. People no. eat them all the time. No, snails eat lettuce. They eat yeah, plants. They eat, le- they eat foliage. Yeah, it's like eating a cow. But have you ever seen slugs? I I don't know. I, where am I going to go see a slug? I Anywhere. Like a, a it's in nature. Slug. I'm not letting this be hijacked by Kissel's ignorance of slugs. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, when it comes down to it, you should see a slug just to see what it's like to see something that works for a living. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? <laughs> You scumbag! Fucking <laughs> pieces of you shit! You scumbag! Um, but uh, honestly, I like any food that comes with toast points. But let's move That's on. That's the other thing you got to toast, toast points. points with you it. piece of shit! Toast points. All right. Now, because it's spreadable, you're really hungry. You're gonna go eat a slug. I'm honestly incredibly hungry, and I would eat a slug. No, but I'm saying you're really hungry. You're on the road. You can have any choice of food whatsoever. You're gonna eat a bunch of slugs. Are you a freaking cartoon villain? What are you doing? I have the Honestly, motivations of a cartoon you... villain. I have the motivations of a man who knows that if I just poison one reservoir, I'll get a lot more done than a bunch of series of votes would do. It's mm-hmm. what people do when they are going out to catch bad dogs. No, it's you when go you go into like, a French restaurant. Snails. If I was driving Busting. down the street and I saw a chete like restaurant, yeah, I'd get escargot in there. But let's wait. Let's we'll Shit-ta. come back to this. We'll come back to this because there's a lot more videos in there. I don't know what we got coming up in here. Let's let's fire one down the pole. The pipe. God damn it. Pole. <laughs> Been talking for hours. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Hold it. Hold the video. Pause. Jesus. You freaking Mussolini. <laughs> we, we know. Pause the video. Pause the video. Take it off. I'm gonna do this. Please, somebody pause that video. Jeez. This comes from. All right. Now this is Bobby Vick. Okay. When you guys, I'm gonna enter you guys the Bobby Vick. Big's life, the the big lifestyle, right? It's a whole fucking branding universe. And Vig, what does it stand for? Very important guy or girl. So take a look at what it's like to maybe peek inside of Bobby Vig's head. Right. Oh, Rock Joe Productions are very good. I want to be a VIG. I want to be a VIG. I want to be a VIG. Do you want to be a (laughs) VIG? Kind of. Oh! Oh my God. Introduce you to my world. That man was getting kicked out of the bar, but. Every exercise. There you go, girl. Come on, pump it out. I've invented a brand new health and fitness lifestyle. Green new. VIG. Okay. VIG means very important girl or the very important guy. Big you point. can now hire a personal trainer and allow me, Bobby Vig, to Bobby coach v. you to your eating habits. I could see this guy motivating you to become nothing Macho like him. Is a perfect example of what Vig. Can you imagine that guy watching you do this, screaming at you? He's an inspiration to me. He lives a lifestyle every single day, as every if he day. was 18 years old. He has the body oh. and the mind of someone who's just ready to explode. He's like just child. amazing. I can't even explain it. I want to be a VIG because it's changed my lifestyle. It's changed my family. Are you aware that all human beings only use 10 to 20 percent of their brain? That's actually brain. not true. Can you That's imagine not true. You could be Can you meet? Of if you could tap into the other 80 percent of your brain. Oh, sh- he's gonna get us the other 80 percent. Yeah, it's seven minute ad. Watch this. One way to reap the benefits of cardiovascular <laughs> exercise while trimming <laughs> and shaping your body. Allow me to introduce you to the fun and interesting world of VIG dance cardio. I love the dance cardio. Dance hall here. the most professional here. and diverse dance and dance and You're living inside of a hot dog. Industry. To help you learn how to dance your way to incredible. That is not a dance. Truth be told. That might be how you do it. Look at this. Watch this. Watch Dangerous world. Whoa, look at his moves. I am dedicating this section to the greatest fighting philosopher. So he teaches fighting, dance choreography, and he's a nutritionist. Bruce Lee. Wow. V-I-G. We want to be a V-I-G. We want to be a V-I-G. He's got to shove Bruce Lee there with an endorsement. He's way dead. 
Oh, yeah. Do you want to be a V-I-G? Are you fed up being overweight? Are you yeah, fed up I am starving actually. yourself? Then let me, Wait, what? Bobby V-I-G, He makes a meal plan. Yeah, but how can you do I've both of those things? I've never like this before until I started training with Bobby. I want Ooh. you to become a V-I-G. That's this, it's this move. To my life. I want to see his grandchildren grow up. He taught me and I know, properly. I know Dan, I just got to stop shopping great at the QVC. My father keeps telling me. A V I G. V -I -G. Whoa! Look at did, this shit, dude. Honestly, this <laughs> Look, it just sliced up melons, dude. He does he all of this shit. It can't kill. That one can't kill. No, that was not. That is not a kill shot right there. I watched Forged in uh, in uh, Fire, Forged in Steel, whatever. I think it's Forged in Fire. And that that knife, he does not have good technique. But that no, he is no. He is a self-trained <laughs> nutritionist, personal. Uh, he's a personal trainer, and he's a fight instructor. But so he not only teaches you how to eat, he teaches you how to fucking work out, and then he teaches you how to fucking fight and kill. And what he shows is often where he's just like, he does this one presentation. I wish we could isolate it. I don't know if we have that other video, Travis, but it was like the one where it's him showing. He was like, it's so yeah, easy the, to take down. Let's do the, the next, the fighting philosophy. Yeah. Please. Take a look at his fighting philosophy. Bobby Vig. He looks like he got six-pack abs just from smoking cigarettes. Look at this. He's fences. He's a fighting philosopher. It's all about a blind of thought. Oh, this is the not... greatest Look at this shit. That ever lived. Bruce Lee. How does he... Bruce Lee was a V.I.G. He... Very important guy. The world we live in today requires us to be vigilant and prepared for whatever life may come our this way. You got to be prepared for Knowing whatever comes down the pipe. yourself and your family can sometimes be the difference between success and tragedy in your life. Yeah, dude. With this being said, allow me to introduce you to the VIG fighting system. Okay. It's that easy. Also offered on webcam workouts live with Bobby VIG. Self-defense is a must in this world. Yeah, I'm sure you. Oh my God, this guy is definitely and dead you now. See the crimes, the horrific crimes that no, he's still posting on YouTube. House invasions. House invasions. Car invasions. Rape. Robbery. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The truth. And, and that's what I always think. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I say that every time. I'm you gotta wait till the invader breaks in. in you gotta show. wait till you see this. Why? Because when you're in danger. That's when you'll understand how important hey, it is. That's when you'll understand what's going so on. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration now of what we offer in the service. I'm punching and kicking. Sure. And also with the nunchucks and katana swords. That's right. The, Frank Reynolds on. says he sold his underage girlfriend I shirt. <laughs> I spend my life being prepared. And a VIG is always ready. He's always ready. Always. Oh. Right. Because if a VIG is wrong, he will apologize. Wow, that that's my nice nice ex-wife there. Help me out with this demonstration. Okay, you can look at this. Can this guy is totally ready. Well, are you ready to go? He's kind of got the drunken sailor thing going on here. Well, look at that. Look how fast he is. I mean, it's really not. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hell yeah, dude. Right? I'm do that same combination and end it with a spinning back fest. Just so look we know this. the final blow the defining blow. All the, the final ball. Defining ball. Those punches daze them, so I get that kick to their head. That okay. is the threat. Okay? So ridiculous. I'll do a spinning back fest. Showing this back I fest. feel like Fuck the music he's playing is racist somehow. No, 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 no. <laughs> he likes final Bruce Lee. Punch. The first five punches dazed him. That punch knocked him out. Damn, yeah, dude. Look at him fucking go, dude. I don't know. That is impressive. That's he pretty does. good. He's apparently also an actor, from what I found. And in 2009, he landed his first lead role in the independent feature film Law and Disorder. Oh, Law and Disorder. <laughs> uh huh. He played John Isaac, a womanizing ex Marine, executive director of a Washington, D.C. lobbyist law firm. Bobby's character dies at the beginning of the film and is oh. not allowed entry into heaven until he earns enough good deed points. <laughs> he then becomes a ghost that roams the halls of his previous law firm, creating mayhem for the employees that once worked for him while still attempting to learn how to let go of his animosity. Oh my God, can we watch the trailer for Law and Disorder? Can we get that by any chance? Is there a way to get that? I don't know. 
been it won best feature film in the 2009 Pere Lorenz International Film Festival in West Virginia. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, the oh, Pere Inter- Lorenz West Virginia Film Festival? It's international. international. <laughs> yeah. Can we get that? I can tell you what. Trailer? But that's when, from now on, though, I'm only referring people like this. It's that, because that's how you know when you're taking oh, things like seriously, that. when you give guys a. I have you, never done that with my hand before. You're trying to take my punk spot. I tell you what, you ain't prepared for what I'm prepared to do to defend my family. I'm gonna come in here trying to get in the way of my fucking car. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Trying to get in the way of my fucking car. B I G, very important girl could also be. I uh, very nice, oh. very inclusive. Give give me the gum. Awe <laughs> and disorder. This is Bob. <laughs> Oh, Bob can't do much, right? Good morning, Mr. Hagen. Welcome to Lippert Mahoney and Parker. Are you ready That's for your That's funny. You're ready as I'll ever be. Then he meets me. That's him! Isaac, winner. That's me, baby. You're all a bunch of losers. It's obvious you haven't had a good role in the hay lately. I'd like to Whoa, get Whoa! He's, he's fucking bad. pure fire, dude. In things <laughs> will only... Get no, it's okay. no, it's okay. no, whoa, 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 you don't need the laser pointer in his face. We have a no. major crisis. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. <laughs> what did you do? Murder somebody? Dead. <gasps> dead? Yeah, dead, dead like a doornail. Dead? John Isaac died in this office three months ago. You told me died. that that guy is dead? Is the B.I.G. is dead? One very rich and happy man. Very so important Monday guy. Morning, the sperm yes. will be under my control. Do you believe in ghosts? Are you feeling okay? Ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts. Because if not, there's a hospital right around the corner and they take mental. Bobby boy, you're the only one that can Mentals. see me. Just you, me, and What the is wolves. the plot of this fucking film? Yeah, he's the ghost now. It's a joke being played on the new guy. You know, Bob, I don't like you very much. You better start sucking up big time, Hagen, if you'd like to keep your job. For the first time in his Wait a second, life, is he Ghost Guido? He's Ghost Guido! Yeah! Bob has a chance to be somebody. I was sent back here to help you run this place. I know. Oh my God! It's like that. Hogan. That's fucking incredible. You think I'm crazy? Oh, don't you? I think somebody's playing a trick on you. But whoa, he's a crazy ghost. He's just got the what's gonna take to make everybody happy about being dead again. He knows. Can you imagine having this drunk Italian dude in your ear all the time and how great your life would be if you listen? Hey, listen. One thing I can tell you right now. Oh, that's funny. He's got. He's doing a tubin. This is the longest trailer I've ever fucking seen. Oh, no, or is this the whole trailer. movie? Please, How long is this fucking trailer? Oh, I have so many other videos. I have so many other videos to get through. I think that wraps it up. That wraps it up. And of course, there's also his other movie, an epic military comedy called Dirty Gun. Uh, and that oh, one stars. Oh, it was a Beaver Dam production. <laughs> and well, that uh, and that movie stars Oliver so- Oliver Stone's son Michael Stone in his acting debut. What? Oh my yes. God! You're the freaking <laughs> son of Oliver Stone. That's just you fucking. Can't... No, we but you know, you yeah. met, you got, you're with Bobby Vig. Yeah, you're with Bobby Vig. And Honestly, if you're when lucky, it comes Bobby down, Bobby Vig can turn you on to his new uh, program, Text Trainer, in which Bobby Vig sends you six text messages every single day to your cell phone to coach you through your daily what is this? eating habits and shaping your body. Is this fucking Nexium? This is his fucking <laughs> IMDb. His IMDb bio, bio is the longest I've ever seen. Um, That's I what I'm talking think about. We're just helping him at this point. We are, we are just yeah. boosting his profile, but honestly, I will hire him, and I will, I would love to drive around with him in Jersey, especially with the guy, uh, Tommy R- R- Romola. We get those yeah. guys all together, keep it OS, you're out there, I got fucking Bobby Vig, and then if I get Big Herc in there, that's oh, my, whole, that that's my fucking cool. new crew, that's my posse. You got Tubin jerking off there, Tubin could probably use um, him right now. Bro. You need one thin guy, though, in your posse, all of those are all fat guys. Crispin Glover. <laughs> Always. If I could get him. Perfect. If I can get them. Now, uh, guys, uh, this next story, I'm going to tell the. this is a really, this, this is a video that's more about the American system, how some people, they lose their health care, right? Yeah. Right. And people want it. They cry about it. Pre-existing condition. Right? We need they to They say all those. this stuff. They lose their health care and their whole thing is like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Blah, blah, blah. There's no fucking safety net for me. I had someone who was taking care of me. Blah, blah, blah. But some people. 
when they get faced with the fact that they don't have health insurance anymore, what they do is they take it on themselves to be not only fucking patriot, not only mother, grandmother, sister, friend, <laughs> but also your own personal dentist. Whoa, it is their own personal themselves. dentist. And they understand that it's a proud thing. Yeah. We're going to watch teeth stuff here, huh? I think that this is just the beginning of this. This is just the okay. beginning of this story with this. This this woman is a brave American, and I can't wait for her to be a member of the Supreme Court. Is this a uh, will you shut off the stream or not? No. No, this is not okay. Great. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay. As you can see. Okay. So she lost her. She had to extract all of her front teeth so she can get uh, dentist work, right? She had to get new dentures. And so she decided, and she's kind of laughing about it and stuff. So what she decided to do is tie a bunch of fish wire to her loose teeth. She'd call her Wigglies. Two teeth tied up with 20 pound test string. Okay. You're just going to. Look, look. Yeah. I don't know if Two I can. She's got that big old monkey wrench. Oh my God. Don't do this. I don't think I can actually watch this. I. I hate to. Really quick, so that I don't. don't do, why are you doing this? <laughs> and I drank some of DJ's vodka. And oh, you're hammered. DJ <laughs> drank a bunch of vodka. Oh my I, god, that actually makes am a I ready to sense, do though. this? I don't know. Oh my god, don't do this. I actually but, hate this. Watch, watch, watch listen. Over here, so fucking ready. Just so that I could not make so much noise when these wrenches fall. It's about the wrenches falling. She doesn't want to wake up her husband. That's a good wife. Wrenches. No, I don't think that is a good freaking wife. Watch this, so. She's going to wake up. Oh God, who has it? By the way, is her husband... Watch this, listen, listen. One, two. I'm not watching. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, it just doesn't work. Doing it. Not, but it didn't work, though. It didn't, no, it. It. it didn't work. <laughs> Jeez. It didn't work. She's going to have to do it again, unfortunately. Go to the doctor! You, do you had one of the things broke. <laughs> And it didn't pull his tooth out. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so that wasn't working too good. That wasn't. No, it wasn't oh, too good. 50 pound test line. No. Hey, mom, what'd you do on Sunday? <laughs> okay, stop this. Yeah, but if it's you could see, they're work, really going. Like, that yeah. one's like visibly wiggling. No. Yeah, this one. The little I wrench. Hate it. Stayed oh, on the, the line. The sound of the wrench is like on a saw. It didn't pull out the tooth. Stop. <sighs> oh, look at the teeth. Look at the fucking teeth. Look at the teeth. Wrench. In hell, Henry. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, Damn God. It. The teeth is just like moving around. Ah, I'm not doing it. Right, I'm not doing wrench. this. Oh, I better not. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Let's see. Pull the, pull the knot out. Oh. See? Pull the knot out. Just that hit yourself in the face good. with a bat. Don't try again. That would work better than this. We're going to have to come back and see if she oh, makes it. I don't know if she's going to make it or not. I don't, know. I don't know. You know what? I think it's fair to say in the long run, no matter what, she doesn't make it. Well, I don't she, think it's going to. I don't know think, what? She, I think she has more days behind her than in front. She is surprisingly happy about it. She's also been like, she's people say I'm crazy. Vodka. People say I'm crazy. But then she does have one video where she is dressed up as an African-American man. Where she is, it was prepping for her costume contest that she was about to go to for Halloween in 2001. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is, I'm not showing it. <laughs> I'm not showing that video. Very interesting. Yikes. Very interesting. Right. It is It is a fun time. It's a fun then he looks to be the, the Prime Internet. Minister of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? What you but gonna... you know, I, I just like her fucking, she just owned it. Her spirit. That, that's what you're down. She to. just said, I don't need health care. Yas Queen. <laughs> I don't think this is what Yas monkey Queen wrenches needs. to these two full on fucking yes, just medieval monkey wrenches. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen a wrench. No, like and that I will say ever. she did not do full she did not do full blackface. She did not. Honestly, it was just like it was the way she was presenting herself. Maybe been the words that she felt uh, she had carte blanche to use as yes. a black man in her yes. mind. Yes, yes. it is fucking wild, though. But you know, what are you gonna do? I feel like that's really what are you gonna right do now. in America <laughs> right also, now? I her think teeth were they were still in there. What we I'm have to do is them. we have to roll with it in America. Yeah, we gotta roll with it. Spirit that made I, America great. Just that's, I, take the monkey wrench and use the entrepreneurial spirit to pull those teeth out of your own head. Honestly, what she should have done. These don't have straps, but if they did, she would have pulled them up. 
She would have used her very well bootstraps because she went up there. She is, to be honest, she's better than Hillary Clinton. <laughs> well, I mean, either way, neither a president. But I'm just saying, you know what she should have done? Drink a bunch of Coca-Cola, keep it in your mouth, and then uh -huh. your teeth will just dissolve. Oh, that's, that's what she did to well, get where she, she got. Yeah. That, well, Maybe what, we'll just keep doing it then. What she's what? trying to do is get rid of the gums. She needs to work on the gums, not the teeth, because the, to the teeth, that is a lot, because they're just going to keep going down and down and down. She's got to work on her gums and get the those gums. Loose, so that fucking tooth just goes. <laughs> just like falls out of it. Just falls yeah. out of it like a, like a grave out of a bunch of loose soil. Yeah. I think I have okay teeth. I don't know. Yeah. You've got to go to the dentist. I That's know. what's going to happen to you. I haven't been there in 20 years. No, you know what? I feel like she could have gone to the dentist every day. And somehow that still would have happened to her. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, that I specific woman, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, all right, let's see what I got. Let's see what we got coming down the uh, pipe there, Red Titties. Hey, yeah, uh, let's see. Come on. You go and you take one of those videos and put it on the pipe. Bob collects up to 30 tons of food waste from the strip every single day to feed his 6,000 pigs. That's a lot of food waste. Oh, oh, my God. God. That fucking sucks. <laughs> what a crappy day in the office. What is it? What happened? I can't believe it. He was trying to stop short Let's for the camera. Again in slow mo. Again in slow mo. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's the pig the food or after the pig? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just food waste slurry that they feed, they feed to the pigs. Oh, so they mix mix all. Oh, so like really that would be like sorry. McDonald's yeah, in there. Like, oh yeah, everything. Good, I'm glad. Well, I'll help you clear it up. I'm very sorry about oh, that. That's all right. Should we feed the pigs? Wow, it's so hot. Yeah, look how yeah it's steaming because they have to melt it all down. You basically put all of the food shit. Like I imagine that they must get outsourced from a farm or something like that, or something like that where there are extra meat slurries like what they'd have from fucking like what uh, tiger king fed everybody that yeah. was just that was from walmart yes and the, but it was all the expired meat all that kind of shit i don't know because i'm not a, a farmer i don't own pigs Regan. but i imagine that they they melt it all down into a big like chunky liquid well huh. maybe it just gets hot by spinning it around <laughs> does it work like that I actually have a, I have a question for you guys. The other day, a couple weeks and weekends ago, me and Carolina came upon some pigs. And we started talking about how people say that dogs are just or pigs are just as smart as dogs. That's what oh, everyone always that's says. What they say. But how? Because all I've ever seen a pig do is wander around a pen and sniff and eat. What does a pig do that's so fucking smart? What does a dog do that's so fucking smart? He goes and he goes to get stuff and he brings it back. And then a dog can find bombs. A dog can find drugs. A I dog can think, find a corpse. Can a pig find a corpse? I think a, not you can train it. a Yeah, you think about a truffle hog. Mm, truffle can hog. you train? Can you train? I bet a you, pig. you could train a dog. I bet you, you could train a pig the exact <laughs> same way you could train a dog. But Here we if go. you left a bunch of dogs without any training whatsoever and then put them in a bunch of dog, like if you put them with a bunch of slurry, they would probably just do the same thing. Sure. Like right now, basically, when I say, can you train a pig to find a corpse? The first thing it says is, the first thing comes up is, what's the best way to get rid of a body? Which I think is just my, our history. We're not even worried about that right now. We need the pig to find the body. I don't want to get rid of the body. How long does it take a pig that? to eat a human corpse? You need at least 16 pigs to finish a job in one sitting. So be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They'll go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight we minutes. We about that. That's really interesting. That's picked in. That's Mr. Picton, of course, the serial else. killer there. Why are why are dogs why are dogs better than pigs? What kind of search is that? That's what I'm gonna look up. That's I'm gonna do one of those. It's all those like Quora really sad emails that people say being like, How can I tell if my dog loves me? <laughs> well, Here you can it, tell. It says, While pigs are highly trainable and can learn at a faster rate than dogs, pig behavior is vastly different than dog behavior. Having a pet pig is kind of like having a perpetual two-year-old child. It's because pigs are so intelligent, they can be stubborn, demanding, and manipulative. I mean, oinks. Hey, oink. What am I, fucking married to it? You are if you buy it. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed on oink. 
I, I honestly <laughs> like the idea. Well, I wonder what the ba- I wonder what two year olds love TV shows. So I bet you a pig then would have a favorite TV show. You got to watch that. A pig might. Ben, you could do well with a pig. I could see you being a pig guy. Oh, oh yeah, I could see you being a big old piggy boy. Well, <laughs> am I wrong? I'm not wrong, right? There's no such thing as a mini pig. They always just pot grow belly. into big pigs. They no, always get big. Pig. No, no, no. Pot belly pigs. Are you sure pot-bellied. they don't just grow into big pigs? 100% sure. I grew up with uh, a guy whose grandmother had a pig, uh, a house pig. That pot ran belly, pot Vietnamese. belly pig gets big. <laughs> Vietnamese pot belly pig. That's what you want. <laughs> Broad belly pig gets big. That's what I type. I like typing question marks into my searches. Yeah. Oh, it always is a full of questions there. I mean, honestly, teacup pot belly pigs, they get to 45 pounds. That's a bit, I'm thinking like when you get a real hog. Well, you know, those pot, are like 300. A regular Vietnamese pot belly pig is about 110 pounds. That's still house. You can still keep that. Damn. 110 pounds? Yeah. Damn. Mark is 125. Me? 125 fucking pounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm 145 or 140, 100, 140. Yeah, you're like a big old pig. Of, so you're telling me it's 35 pounds away from being a human Marcus Parks, and you're like, man, that's a big. Yeah, he's a big, he's a pig. Yeah, he's a big old, you're pig size. You can hang out. You can have a pig around your house. I bet you Yeah, can. honestly, you know, it's like, sounds is, like Carolina size, technically. I'm not going to lie. The aesthetics of the bag with the pigs, they're just not cute as dogs. I love the only, I love it. But am I going to sit there and, like, am I kissing the dog or am I kissing the pig? You probably end up kissing the pig. I would kiss I was I was against rabbits until we had that rabbit for, like, three months, and then I began to fall in love with it. But I tell you what, they are little shitters. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. Everyone. That's yeah, the problem with the rabbit. Yeah. Right. Let's, see what we, let's see what we got on the – let's see what we got coming out of the pipe that did it. Oh. Green chili? Look at this motherfucker. Oh, my God. So he eats just green chili. A red chili? Okay, I don't know if the Kahlua is going to help uh, with this, but... A bird's eye chili? You bird's eye chili is very... That is actually very spicy chili. That he just ate fucking whole hog. A oh. habanero chili? Oh, buddy. It was you are base. getting too old. Yeah. Oh, God, he's just biting his like a fucking apple. And the Carolina Reaper. Oh, my God, buddy. You are oh, truly going chili. to die. Oh, buddy. Honestly, he's going to fucking it's die. It's not chili on. Oh my God, bud! What is the Kahlua for? For the base. The oh, he's gonna eat a fucking other one. Oh my God, this is TikTok. So this is the Chinese. This is the the American. This is what the Chinese, Chinese secrets Chinese want. Base. That's what they want. That's the cow gone of America. The American man can withstand more, more scoville. And that's it. I'm pretty certain he fucking died. I'm sure that he died. The fact that it's not finished is actually really scary. Well, the fact that, that, that yeah, makes that we it don't really see, bad. Yeah, like that we don't the see the last image is just him going back well because i just can't imagine what it does especially i guess i feel old man i wonder if we at some point our systems become less sensitive like no. as you get to like your 70s can't you just start fucking like sounding and fucking eating a bunch of cup like peppers and shit and because your it nerves seems, are dying you don't fucking feel shit seems like you have a gross misunderstanding of aging because uh <laughs> you're you don't get stronger i don't know anything about Not, it I mean, you're definitely gonna just like die. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it worked for them. Maybe he does wow. get better. Oh, the fidget says that Henry Pig Slurry is leftovers from Las Vegas restaurants. That's actually very interesting. I wonder if that is—is is that true, or are you just fucking with me? I would take it as—I would take it as truth. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Freddie Spaghetti thinks he probably spit them all out. He might—he might have as soon as the cameras over spit him out, but it doesn't matter because you already fucking bit into it, and that shit is just now yeah, coursing no down your throat. No matter what, he's definitely gonna feel that. There was actually a guy in England who died last year after eating a spicy fish cake that was so hot that it burned the back of his throat. And oh the my coroner, God. well, no, the coroner compared the burns on his throat and esophagus to the burns suffered by people who die in fires. Shit, I don't. <laughs> I like I spicy. That's under the obituary section. Eating well, white. What is wrong? With that <laughs> I mean, he's really British. Gonna die from a spicy if anybody salmon? can die from spice, it's someone from the UK. <laughs> Although I did, I was at the weed store and I, they, they had pineapple habanero sativa gummies, five milligrams. And I was like, I do have the whitest thing ever. I have to ask you, do you have anything not habanero because they are a little spicy? And then he laughed and laughed at me and I was like, never mind. I can deal with hot, I can deal with hot though. They, they are not like that spicy my, those. They are that spicy when you take no, a freaking handful of them. Yeah, I mean, we've got to eat I, them one at a time. I also just don't like spicy in my weed edible. There's no need for Yeah, that, you don't really need it. Why are we doing no this? Name. 
Yeah. What is this? Some kind of what is this? Am I some kind of pepper guy? Am I a pepper um, guy? Do I look like a pepper guy? You calling me a pepper guy? Yeah, you, to me, you look like a big old pepper guy, but I like that you look, about you. You calling me a freaking pepper guy? Yeah, you're some kind of pepper guy. You're a pepper guy I like. You, when I look at you, the first thing I say to, number one, is that a big? I don't know. Is he a VIG? Honestly, he worked. It all worked, though, didn't it? But I tell you no. what, this guy, oh, I will say he's a pepper guy. <laughs> He's a pepper guy. Right. He's a fucking pepper guy. Um, yeah. let's take the let's even out the mood and play a video for Marcus because I feel that people want to explore different sound waves. We're probably gonna cut this off. Oh, this is, I, this I, is this was the one that people in in prep. I was I didn't see it, but they were asking if we could play it though. Hmm. This one. I think so. If you're no, this is not okay. Never mind. There's this another part video of the joy that of exploring the world of sounds. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of sounds in this. Mm. It's, a video. it's a lot of sounds. Oh. Rolling in the hay, rolling in the hay. I want you come outside and go rolling in the hay. This is me trying to reach you, Marcus. Rolling in the hay. I want you come outside. This song's been stuck on my head for fucking days. Every little bird inside you singing in the sky. Every little robin's egg you acting as I sigh. It's like the Joker's son. <laughs> in the summer sun. I know we can go out and have a lot of summer fun. Rolling in the hay, rolling in the hay. I want you come outside and go rolling in the hay with me. Rolling in the hay, rolling in the hay. I want you come outside and go rolling in the hay with me. Whoa! Oh, this is the break. From? Who's playing it? Where's it coming from? This is that piano that you blow into, right? That you have the melodica. Yeah. Your gold hair and cherry lips do make my head go dizzy. Come ride with me up to the field inside my old tin lizzy. The weed is swaying to and fro within the gentle breeze. I hate yeah, his voice. It's something about it. It's been haunting me all week. <laughs> yeah. Looks like, he looks like the guy from... Have you ever seen the meme, Did You Dream This Man? Oh. It looks like that guy. Dude, you put a techno beat under this. It's a very long song, and it's much longer than it needs to be. There's literally no reason for it to be this long. Hey, this is long. I don't know what what graveyard he took the sound from. <laughs> I'm happy he's committed. It's a tiny guitar, though, huh? All right. The more he says it, though, the more you do remember the lyrics. Oh, fake audience. Yeah, that's what's really very scary. What's that guy's name? I want to find out more about him. I don't remember. Oh, oh wait, no, I got it right here. Uncle U-N-C-L-R-O-D-G. Uncle Raj. Uncle Raj. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ugh, while you're looking up that, we should watch a video where it's like to see. It's kind of fun to see parents have fun. I love when parents. Don't we really like to see parents have fun when they're not just beating us, just yeah. beating us, or coming home drunk, or telling us that our that acting is a phase. Well, it, it is when they stop casting you. <laughs> <laughs> Careers have been flow, Kissel. I know. Um, but, you know, some people watching are actually parents as well. Not everyone is uh, perpetual children like us. Oh, well, that's what our job is. Our job is to be, uh, to basically be children until we die. Uncle Raj. I am <laughs> puppet master. You will dance for me, puppet boy. Oh. Dance. How are mom and dad doing dance. in Florida? No, I'm not your puppet still... boy. No! <laughs> you will dance for me, puppet boy. I get it. I'm not your puppet boy. You will <laughs> dance for me, puppet boy. Oh, I have sex already, you two lovebirds. No! I won't dance for you. I'm not your puppet boy. <laughs> I am the puppet master. 
Dance. <laughs> no. Dance. I'm not your puppet boy. You no. are doing it though. Dance. So you are her puppet no. boy, aren't you? I won't dance for you. You will dance for me, <laughs> puppet boy. I'm not your puppet boy. Puppet boy. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm not your puppet, puppet, puppet boy. Dance for me, puppet boy. Master. Master. Oh, he's now convinced. Okay, Stockholm Syndrome. I am the puppet master. <gasps> That's just fucking he's cute. He's the puppet master? Oh, That's my wonderful. God. That's Did you see anything cute. else by Uncle Raj? Yeah, he's got a few more songs. It says Rolling the Hay. He's got Tears in Her Coffee, which I think is a great song title. Uh, that There's actually is a really nice song title, especially for a um, like a like some form of uh, Western song. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's Cooking Something Up. Which is also a pretty, that's a pretty good Western song. Now, top. That there's, could be about food or that could be about a plot to like rob a bank or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's Devil March, which cool. I would really like to hear Devil March. I'm going to be listening to that as soon as this is over. Well, why don't you uh, pull it up? Maybe we could see if Devil March is any good. I yeah. actually don't want you to listen to this alone, Marcus. I feel like you <laughs> might be gone forever. <laughs> and he also uh, apparently starred in a movie um, called Daddy's Thumb. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, at the very oh, least, he, he's a, there's a tra I think it's a trailer he made for a movie called Daddy's Thumb, and I don't know anything about it. Uh, but yep, that's that's what he's got. That's everything he's got. And that was the last thing he uploaded three years ago. Wow. He's dead. A whole bunch of stuff three years ago, and then nothing he said. tried he shot his shot he shot and then the shot. bullet was gone yeah. and yeah he, he did have a website but he apparently stopped paying the GoDaddy bill because it's not around anymore so i guess he moved yeah on. yeah let's see Here devil's we, we can just play a little oh, bit of it because i got a lot of other videos yeah, yeah. yeah. just devil oh no this is a different aesthetic already he's getting better i guess okay <laughs> Calypso? This is great! Yeah! Yeah! There's a whip! There's a whip in this yeah. game! morning without a little more in the devil game of morning. I actually like it. It's really good. This is actually not bad! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is pretty good. Early in the morning, without a little warning, the devil came a marching into my place. And this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Very good. I kind of like this. The all of the fills are horrible, but he's actually I like this song. All right. Well. Oh yeah. Let's get the next one. Right, here we go. Let's go to that. Let's move on. Very good. Uncle Raj. Though. Uncle Raj, you did it. You got it, buddy. Good. All right, surprises, Titties. Let's see what we got coming down here. Oh, this is oh, for this Kissel. This is going to be freaking brutal. Kissel, this is to inspire you. This is a man, I believe he's Kritzkios. This is going to be brutal. I don't even know what exercise that is. It's not an exercise. This is to inspire you, Kissel. But what did he do? I mean, it was... It's Look what you can do, dude. Look at this. <laughs> that's a whole that's, exercise. That's hard to do. No, it is hard to do. <laughs> He's funny looking though. This is so you can do it. I, I can, can do that. Yes. It, it's funny. That's it. Very cute. This is his cardio. He's got a good three inch. Honestly, you do this for an hour. You tell me you won't be winded. I mean, it is oh, difficult, but he is a 425 pound man. Oh, you do that ten times and you're gonna Well he's but he's got a lot of muscle. He's actually probably if you wanted to drop pounds, he could probably do it fairly quickly. Oh, he's bang. out of breath. He's really out of breath. That's the whole video too. <laughs> oh my god. Well that's because you didn't do it. You didn't do it though. But he's I, doing everything wrong. Apparently he tore both of his biceps. <laughs> yeah, what is this man is actually mentally ill. Yeah. He is doing absolutely everything wrong. <laughs> but what would be the point of that? Very passionate. Also, they're just 25, so it's not nearly as much weight as you might think. It's not even like... That's a lot of weight. No, no it's weight. just 25. It's still it's just 200 on both sides, which is like a lot. 400 pounds. 
Yeah, but it's not pounds, it's kilograms. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Think about Kissel if you did this. How strong you'd be. Yeah, he'd be a totally different me. I would be a whole Look at him, he's just, he always looks like he's just about to die. <laughs> I think he is. Each one of those is 55 pounds. 55 fucking pounds, there's eight on each one. He's I mean, looking like fair, fucking 600 pounds. With, he didn't do anything with him. He just did this. <laughs> He did that. Well, it's because he apparently he tore both of his biceps. I think maybe put the cap up on the wall and call it a day. Retire. I, I, I don't know, but he kicks a bag real hard, too. If you want to watch a great documentary about, about bodybuilders, The King, which is The King, starring Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie it's Coleman, very interesting. All of you would recognize him. He was the man was of very, the very early 2000s. You'll see his, you've seen his bod. Easy in his body. Oh, let's see what else we Can't got. Let's see what we though. got. Yeah, that's what happens. You get so strong that you don't need to walk anymore, so you, your legs well, just quit on you. Your legs say, you can't fire me, I quit. <laughs> they pull a tube and... Tube it. And we are doing... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, so you want to get a little bit of an oh, update. My... No, double, I don't want an update. I want to see whether or not she gets it. One, two. Oh, one up top, one so down we're not below. divide and conquer in this time. We're going to do oh, one, two. we go. All at once, out, hopefully it comes. I'm going to get tired okay, of pulling on this one. It. Ready? And on your mark, get set. I'm not on my mark. So we're not look, racing. Watch. Go. Ah, I think I got it. Oh, oh, oh fuck it, you got it. Get out of here. End it. Oh, End your life. Yeah, got oh, it. God. Just no, stop it. it. Where's my goal? Oh, What's fuck. wrong with you? Oh, God, shit. End this. And then she's going to go sleep. What is she doing? Go to stuff in oh. the fucking wound. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, is like, Jesus Christ. Right. Literally, uh, like, oof. Look okay. how happy she is. Why do you is? want my reaction to me? Uh, huh? Ma'am, ma'am, uh, um, America, America, God shed oh, yeah. his oh, yeah. grace oh, yeah. on me. <laughs> he did it. She did it. Root and stem. Oh, All, every pull of it. And then she has to do it. She then has other videos where she does it four more times because oh she's got to because she said she was bragging on her channel basically saying i i, I uh, got a savings of twelve hundred dollars because i only had to get one extraction from the doctor so now i could do all these for free essentially calling dentists suckers uh, <laughs> saying that i could do this for free i don't know man i, I just feel like sometimes you got to go see somebody else <laughs> <laughs> That is yeah. disgusting. We're all big DIY guys here. We're yeah. all, hey, man, you we're know, indie. Started, we started, we started I'm super indie. DIY Teeth stuff freaks me out, man. Still does, always oh, shit. Can't get that over is... it. I can, watch, I, I can watch somebody poke their freaking eye out, but I can't watch that. I... Straight up, her pulling her fucking teeth yeah. out like that, that is like her being like the fucking, was the record company, man, the fucking old school, dude, the fucking the indie record company Captain? you like. Sub pop. Sub pop? She's like the sub pop of fucking home dentistry. How is she the sub pop of home dentistry? Because she don't give a fuck. Mm, I'd make her more, probably more the alternative tentacles. Because she don't give a fuck. She's no, an ICP. I, she's I the ICP she of dentistry. If she didn't give a fuck, she would have just left the teeth in her mouth and not pulled them out for no reason. Yep, it's really very. Interesting. She actually cared quite a bit. No, 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 no. She wanted to do it herself because she didn't want let some. She didn't want the government involved. Also, how how deep does her husband sleep? He's dead. He's probably been sleeping for 15 freaking years. He's, He's been listening to bed. his wife pull her own fucking teeth out for years. Oh, man. Marcus, what would you do if you just woke up and Carolina had a missing tooth? Don't you have to be I like, what happened? what happened? Where did it go? Uh, the, the, the first and question, she'd be like, aren't you proud? Your tooth? Aren't you proud I did it myself, Marcus? No. I wouldn't no, not at all. <laughs> aren't you proud I did it myself, Marcus? Yeah, she's going to give herself a breast job. She's going to give herself a, a fake See what I did, Marcus? Look, I filled him with ketchup. <laughs> I filled him. I cut a hole in the bottom of my breast, and I filled him with ketchup, Marcus. It would be a, a long conversation as to what's going on with you these days. Feel like even though we're around each other all the time, we're not connecting anymore. <laughs> you're like, you know, waking up and you got a tooth missing and you're proud of it. So we need to you're, reconnect. Here. You'd connect a lot better if you knew how to take out teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were a dentist. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Imagine what, marrying a dentist. People, there's another guy. Oh, and right. another video I know that the guy definitely needs a dentist after what he did. I feel like we should see what this is. Oh my god. Oh no, no, this is not the dentist one, but it's just fun. <laughs> I uh it's just the internet. Uh, that's that's the internet. literally the internet right there. 
No, that no is the internet. time wow, putting all of this together. Yeah. So this the same Trump amount of time together. it took Gal Gadot to write both. That person <laughs> put that together. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that is the internet. Yeah. That's the internet right there, man. You know what? Because it's free. It's what free. Were they? And it shows, and just like the internet, we as human beings, if you believe in the Bible, we've been given a form of free will, right? So we're allowed to do it wherever we want with that free will. And sometimes we choose to do things that aren't like accepted by everybody. I mean, honestly, that person was just filming what happens on a farm. That was, but let's see what this, yeah, that, I mean, that yeah, that's yeah, that's normal. That's compared sucks. to what that's, we saw. Yeah, I mean, that's love. Scene. So far, love. But we have to see what else could be. I mean, this next Hope video shows hey, better not be that Gal Gadot something. vote thing because Josh Gad, John Gad, Josh Gad, he's naked. Uh, he, and I gotta say, I was moved this by it. Con. You ready for this? He's gonna need a spoonful of flies. Oh my god. He can just do whatever he wants because he's an American. This is our soldiers. These are our boys. Maybe we do need another foreign war. <laughs> they are fucking, they need, I guess they need to do something because. I don't think he really wants to do this. It doesn't seem. Oh my god, there's still flies on the food. Ugh. What? So gross. Oh, so gross. gross. Let's see what we got. Yeah! How are we gonna beat the Chinese, guys? Come on. Let's see. There's some on your lip. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, what do you mean? You got to swallow, brother. I guess people eat flies all the time. They do. Don't puke. Oh, he's gonna puke. It. That's gonna make me vomit. Why is he plugging his ears? Because he's trying. The rest of the guys are going. Yeah, they're making puke noises. Okay. Yeah. Is it ISIS still out there or something like that? <laughs> We gotta have fun in between. They can't be nice. This is only fun. I love our. I mean, honestly, I love our boys in the armed services, and I'm glad that they're doing this. This is how they're keeping. He looks miserable. I, of course, we. we uh, it takes a lot. To do this, it takes the most. But honestly, that is. He did the right thing. I can't get it. I gotta get some water. Well, hold your tongue out. Hold your tongue out. Let me zoom in on the wing. I don't know. Uh, oh man, it's just for all the black bits. That's what's really fucking very disturbing. You're still a pussy. You know, I'm still. A, see, this is why it's so difficult. That's the problem is that you do the thing to make all your boys go like, oh, but then they still go, still pussy. And you're like, <laughs> this is why I was trying to get in with you. None of us joined the military. I mean, I was, I just I was, was going to, but uh, they didn't want me. They well, I didn't. I don't I just never got along with big groups of boys. Yeah. I just couldn't do it, man. I'm just not. Honestly, you do have to sort of. You got to buy in, and I. Was oh, just of not, course, I'm absolutely. I just my. It's not that I didn't get along. It's just like I'm like fun to be a joker, but because I had nothing but sisters and my father wasn't around and my mom was heavily mothered me, like I am one of those people where I'm just like, why are we playing so rough? Yeah, I was gonna join the air force because I wanted to fly helicopters, but then nah. You can just fly a helicopter. I can get you a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Burr has a helicopter. Yeah, I can do really? it. I can do it now, maybe. For Except you shouldn't like because of Kobe. You shouldn't. Yeah. Because of I don't know. No, if Kobe I can't see, fly, you can't fly. My youthful pursuits. I know yeah, now. I should, yeah. I'm not allowed on a helicopter. I can't go. You know, they sued the the yeah, Kobe family. Had, the Kobe family had to sue the cops because all the cops took a bunch of pictures of all the corpses and tried to sell them to TMZ. Yeah. Scumbags. That's that's scumbags. Like, guess what? I don't. You know, when it comes down to it, we're all just parts of the American quilt. Aren't we? Every one of us is a thread because if one of us wasn't there, guess what? That wouldn't be a fucking quilt. That would be a hole that some Hasid can no, have sex you, with. You, could, <laughs> you know what I mean? You could lose a couple of the threads. And the, you don't want to, ever. buddy. You don't want to. You want to keep every thread, and every thread is important. That's what's important. I think, I think right you now. should say because, everyone is a bridge, and then, because if you lose one part of a bridge, that whole thing could go down. I'm yeah. just saying that when it comes down to it, because we're. Well, a bridge to what? The bridge to the other side of the road. <laughs> I'm not some chicken. I'm an American. No, you did What do you want? You're I'm not going just going, going to the other side of the road like some communist with no fucking, uh, I don't have some fucking other agenda. I'm going across the road to start a business that will hire other chickens that will then come and work and create products to be purchased by other chickens. Mm -hmm. And then other chickens, and that will spread the, the wealth all the way through. And then as we build our wealth, build our wealth, we'll go build our communities, build our communities of chickens. Get some You're talking about Civ. You're talking about a chicken version of Civ. Chicken sieve. I wish. Honestly, that's a great mod. Imagine that if chickens actually harvested us and we were little and we were in those cages, how'd we feel? Yeah. And then we would make eggs. Yeah. <laughs> we make. The feel eggs. like a Jeffrey Tubin. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man.
<laughs> made a lot of eggs. <laughs> made a lot of eggs. Never good when you're 60 years old. You got to apologize your wife for, to your wife for jerking off on Zoom. That I did not see that coming. By the way, in uh, in 2020, you didn't know. You know what? It wasn't on my 2020 bingo card. What is the technology? If the 20, if the, if the oh, hold on, why don't get that bingo okay. card? <laughs> I'm not making fun. Thank of Thank you, you Spinny. Thank you, Spinny. I'm not making fun. It was not um, a bingo card. Also, let's um let's just celebrate the world is burning one last second. Let's just see what it's like. What now, we can I, do. I do think Marcus played this like a year or two ago. Ah, but shit. We'll see. We'll see. It, it's very it still works. The world is burning. Yeah. Let's man. Oh, did we play this? This is great though. I lo what's the name Master of this performance? Masturbate. Uh, People at the United Nations, they masturbate. Masturbate. Especially some of the 17 year old boys. Well, they masturbate. Well, that's a fact. <laughs> oh, man, what is this person's the name again? Burning. I forget. Let's masturbate. <laughs> David, something David. Let's, let's, yeah, if we do nothing ever again in our lives, let us masturbate. Masturbate! <laughs> yeah, it still works. The audience understands. They all understand. They, they do excite it. And they, 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 oh, I guess it was. The Divine was, David. It's the Divine, the divine David. Divine David. Yeah. Actually, right. we, used to play that, we used to play that during our live shows. Uh, That's with, right. But, but I think we played that. We played that video in both Atlanta at Ur the Earl and in Baltimore at uh, Auto Bar. That's oh. back when we used to just play fucking YouTube videos and hope the show went well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we used to just like be like, it was. A I don't know what we're gonna say. Yeah. We gave ourselves really a bunch of chance. People. It worked really good for fifty people, but then once we started getting up to four hundred, boy, they weren't happy about showing up and watching YouTube. Videos <laughs> for an hour no, now. people yeah. want to show. We want to show our first show ever in Seattle. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were there that first show, it wasn't a great show. But yes, we true. learned and we've grown. Yes. And wait till you see, because by 2021, I'm gonna be so filled with show come. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be so filled with laugh sperm that when we get to that stage, I'm gonna pull a Jeffrey Tubin. Whoa! And make sure I We'll do it before. Mm -hmm. Always do it before. Yeah, Always do. If you're going. That's what we know. We got a big call with Spotify soon, so we'll we'll see what they say. Yeah, they're, we'll see they're, what happens. Really but guess what, man? If it was a woman, everyone would have plotted it. Well, I don't know. Ah. I think uh, I'm not. Well, maybe I don't think it would have been. Uh, <laughs> I would have watched it. I would have a different feeling about Could it. Could you imagine though? Because the reaction of just like, yeah, of course Jeffrey Tubin does it. Everyone's fucking disgusted, but it was just like one woman going, and then you just see like the okay. boss in New York no. go. Oh, oh. <laughs> and like another guy coming in. Oh, what? <laughs> um, okay, but I think one of the things with Jeffrey Tubin, it's not Lance Bass. It's not a hunk. Uh, it's still just a sixty-year-old dumpy dude. <laughs> that doesn't really like help. It, it was like you know, when you start started thinking of a hunk. You're, the first hunk you thought of was Lance Bass. I mean, that's all the, the first person you thought of was Lance Bass. <laughs> all of the girls, but obviously, with them. you tell me. All right, guys, work. honestly, I'm being satirical about the. If a woman masturbated, everyone would be upset. Well, again, I depends <laughs> if it's somebody who is super saucy. It if, depends. if if you're on a, if you're on with Sasha Gray, and all of a sudden, oh, big me, and then Sasha Gray. She quit now. She's on ESPN now. She quit. No, she's not on ESPN. She's doing something. Is she? I mean, she's, she's great. I have no problem. Um, I mean, I love her, but we're about to go out. And I just want to remember, because, you know, again, heading into election season. We just started. And what we're going to do is I want you to remember, no matter what, you can't, don't stop believing in this country and yourself. Don't stop believing. Not to. It's important to remember. Steve Perry doesn't want you to stop believing. I don't think Steve Perry wants his song used for this. Just a small town girl. Just oh. a small town girl. Living on her own. It is. She took the midnight train going anywhere. I love it, Zaz. He's got Zaz. <laughs> he just cracks me the fuck up. I watched this video. Born and raised in South Detroit. Yeah. 
It is making me feel something. Yeah. Also, what is Smule? <laughs> Maybe like TikTok, but Smule. Is this like Russian TikTok? It's called Smule? A singer in a smoky room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hail yourselves, everyone. Bye bye. Good luck, everybody, Hilton. Okay.